I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So this was supposed to go up yesterday. It was supposed to be just a tiny house as you can see right now. I basically, I built it in Senmaishuno. So I started building on the 30 by 30 and I just wanted there to be a tiny house on the lot. But once I kind of finished the shell of the house, it hit me that it just looked kind of off like there was something missing around the lot. It didn't really fit the surroundings either. And I felt like this was good for the save file too. So I really needed it to fit the surroundings, you know? So, or to blend in with the surroundings. Hopefully you get what I mean. So it just, it didn't work as a house on, it own, on its own. So I had to build another house next to it. And suddenly I was sitting here dealing with way more than a hundred tiles first of all but also i've not furnished the other house it will be furnished in the save file but it's definitely not just a tiny house anymore <laughs> but that was my initial plan so that's why i didn't i didn't release it yesterday because it took me a lot longer to build it than i had originally thought it would so yeah but anyways this is what we're building today we're building a house that is inspired by a japanese tiny house that i found on Possibly Pinterest, might also have been Google, I don't really remember. I'll put it up in the corner right now so you can see what it looks like. I just thought the shape of the house was really interesting and I've been wanting to build something Japan inspired for the longest time. If you guys don't know, because I don't really think I talk about it a lot in my voiceovers, I don't really see a reason, like, why would I? But I'm really fascinated with the culture they have in East Asia. So I really, really want to go to Japan and also South Korea. It'll take a while before I could afford to go there, but it's a dream of mine. So yeah, I've just been wanting to build something Japan inspired for a very, very long time. So today we are building a contemporary Japanese house, but I've also kind of been playing with the idea of building a more traditional home as well. I'm not really sure on that one because I don't know if we have the right like the right items to build it but if you want to see that let me know and i'll definitely give it a try or something but um yeah that is basically what we're doing today and it is pretty much i don't want to say it's a recreation because i can only see the house from one view like from one angle but i think it's pretty close like it's as close to a recreation as it could get i think the the, the original house might possibly be a little bit bigger because this was supposed to be a tiny house so I built it as small as I possibly could. Like there's only room for a double bed in this house and then there's a kitchen and a dining area. I did also fit in a TV actually but there's no couch. <laughs> there's no like... There, there are two lounge chairs but one is in the bedroom and the other one is on the terrace so that doesn't really help. They're not near the TV and you know whatever. So it's definitely, definitely interior wise, it is a tiny house and it's a very, very small tiny house. Also because the staircase takes up so much space, like it takes up five tiles total, which is quite a lot when you're building a tiny house. So, but I made it work. I feel like I made it work at least, but I'll let you guys decide. Also, I'm not the best at Japanese interior because I have this image in my head of what I want it to look like, but we just don't have the right items for it. Japanese interior, as far as I've seen in pictures, is very minimalistic and it's actually kind of, a lot of it reminds me of Scandinavian interior, which is kind of funny. I don't know what that's about, <laughs> but it's just very minimalistic and stylish and clean and not a lot of color, at least in the pictures that I've seen. I suppose like you could have several different styles in Japan, of course, and I've only seen a couple of them as it is like all Scandinavian apartments don't look the same either you know that's just how it is people have different taste um but the pictures that I've seen it's very minimalistic very black and white or not necessarily black and white it's very like beige and cream and white and gray those sort of colors and then I've also seen a couple of pictures where there's a little bit more of a contrast so they have used some black or some dark brown as well but what I ended up going for was this sort of lighter look to the interior, so you'll see that later on. But again, like, I am not the best at Japanese interior at all. I don't know enough about it. I did try though, so I hope you guys will like it. Also, if you see me do anything that you don't fully understand in this video, please let me know and I'll try to do a tutorial on it. I've been asking you guys to tell me for the past couple of videos because I really want to do some more tutorials on the channel and 
yeah, just let me know if there's anything that you're not fully certain on how to do. If it's something super easy, I'll just explain it to you in the comment section. But if it's something that requires me to show it to you, I'll make a video on it. So yeah, just, just let me know. Anyways, if you're curious about this fence, right? It's not really a fence, like a brick. Would you call that a fence still? I don't really know. A brick wall, whatever. It's from the Deepak catalog, so it's a part of the... Actually, it's a part of the World Objects catalog. I don't know if you would call that the Debug catalog too. If you're curious about the cheats that I'm using, they're all listed in the description along with a download or a download link to this build. I think the tray files are also linked there and some other stuff like my socials and stuff. But the cheats, the cheats are the most important part and they're in the description. Also, today will be the day that I upload a build tutorial on my second channel. So I've been working on a Minecraft build tutorial or a house tutorial for a couple of days and I'm a little bit nervous to post it, but I think today will be the day. I just need to add some captions to it and that should be about it. So yeah, that's going up on the second channel. That's also linked in the description, by the way, if you're curious about that. I either post Roblox or Minecraft over there. I'm not really sure on Roblox these days because it does take a lot of time to farm money in Roblox and I can't afford to just buy Roblox. So with Minecraft, it's a little bit easier to get resources and stuff. And if you're just doing houses, you can just go into creative and it's fine. But with Roblox, you kind of have to spend time getting money if you can't afford to buy uh, the different currencies. So that is how that is. But I think uh, I think today will be the day for the house tutorial. I did actually show a picture of it on the Discord server and you guys seem pretty excited about it. So I hope that you will like the tutorial once it goes up. But anyways, as you can see, we are getting to the end of the exterior of the first house at least. The other one was kind of based off, not fully based off, but very heavily inspired by one of the other apartment buildings here in this area. We are building in the Spice District area of Semishuno, by the way, so I wanted this house here to look a little bit more Brooklyn-like. This also means that the Japanese tiny house does stick out a little bit in this area. It doesn't really... There are no houses like it in the area so far, but since this is for my save file, I will probably turn the karaoke bar into something that fits the Japanese tiny house, which you know, kinda, it fits because karaoke is Japanese too, so. <laughs> Those two builds will go together, and then this part of the build that we're doing today, the more Brooklyn-like house, will go with the other townhouses in this area, so somehow it'll end up blending in in this area, but so far the Japanese house is still kinda sticking out like a sore thumb. And I do realize that, but I got plans for the karaoke bar now, at least. So, and I know that I'm not pronouncing karaoke like you guys want me to, but in Danish, we pronounce it karaoke, and in Japanese, they pronounce it pretty close to that, so I'm just gonna stick to karaoke. But yeah, that is what we're doing today, so I hope you guys will like this house. Also, the truck is from the World Objects catalog as well, I think. I've never used it before. I spend like an hour trying to go through the catalog to find a build actually because I thought I could find like a prob build so I could use that instead of building this house and yeah so I could like avoid having to build a second house on the lot basically but I couldn't find one so I had to build the house anyways. Did that make any sense? <laughs> I swear I spent about an hour trying to find that house and I feel like I've seen someone else use it. I don't watch speed builds so I've just seen it in a thumbnail but I don't really know. They could have built it themselves, I suppose, but I just, I feel like I've seen a Brooklyn townhouse in the World Objects catalog at some point, and that's why I wanted to use that house, but I couldn't find it, so I had to build one on my own. But this is fine, because now I get to decorate it, and you can actually use the roommate system that came with Discover University on this lot now. The uploaded version today is not furnished, like this part of the build, the townhouse is not furnished, only the Japanese tiny house, but if you don't mind your roommate's needs being a little bit down, you can still use this lot with the roommate system, I'm just saying, like, you don't have to furnish the other houses or the other rooms in the apartment or whatever you are playing in if you want to play with the roommate system. You just have to click on the door. Actually, I don't really know how it works. Do you call in and then say, hey, I want a roommate or something? 
I don't remember. I was introduced to it around Discover University, but since I've not had the time to actually sit down and play the game instead of just building, I don't really know how it works, but I know that you can use it. So there you go. Um, but yeah, basically the other house is not furnished yet. I think there is room for, on the ground floor, there is room for one bedroom and then on the second floor, of course you can use the Murphy bed and you can turn it into sort of like a two bedroom situation, except one of the bedrooms is kind of merged with the living room. Hopefully that makes sense. And in the apartment on the second floor, there should be two bedrooms and then both of the apartments have like common rooms so the kitchen the dining area and also the living room area will be in one room i feel like that's very natural very realistic for apartments but it might just be scandinavian apartments to be honest newer scandinavian apartments because the older ones had long hallways and then you would kind of like everything would be split up into different rooms like you could walk through the hallway and then there'd be a bedroom on this on the left hand and then Maybe like an office room on the right hand. Also, I'm specifically talking about Danish apartments right now, so I don't know why I'm saying Scandinavian. I don't know about older Norwegian or older Swedish apartments, specifically talking about Danish apartments, but basically the older ones used to have hallways and then, you know, the rooms were kind of... You could walk into the different rooms from the hallway, but now they've kind of stopped doing the whole hallway thing, so everything is just in one room. I feel like it's a better use of space anyways, so... But yeah, enough talk about Danish apartments. We are building a Japanese tiny house, so I don't know why I'm talking about Danish apartments. But as you can see, I was having a few issues with the floor plan here. It's not really a proper floor plan per se, because there's not really any rooms in this house, other than the bathroom, of course, which is a two by one bathroom, but there is actually a sink a toilet and a shower in there. So they have a fully functional bathroom. It's just very, very small. I did have to size down the sink because otherwise the toilet wasn't working, but everything should work now. I did play test it. My Sim, Faye, she is a ghost in this video. So there is that to take into consideration, but I feel like it should be fine. I was trying my best to make sure that the staircase wouldn't end up where this bare wall is. So there are no windows on this wall because I don't, okay, I don't like to put stuff in front of windows, so whenever I have a bare wall, I'm like, yes, no windows here. This is where the bed is gonna go, because I do not want to put a bed under a window. I feel like that's creepy. Could you imagine, like, sleeping under a window? I would constantly, and I'm sorry if this is gonna creep some of you guys out, but I would constantly feel like, especially if it's in a house, I would constantly feel like someone was staring at me through the window. That is just how my brain works. I don't really know what that's about, but anyways. So whenever there's a bare wall, I'm like, yep, that is where the bed is gonna go. And that's why I really wanted to make sure that the staircase was not gonna end up where this bare wall is. So it's really lucky that I could sort of turn the bathroom into a two by one. So everything is sort of worked out that way. Plus I think the kitchen as well is under the long window that I put downstairs as well which actually looks kind of realistic too so you walk through there's a pathway outside the house that leads to the backyard even though they don't really have like a proper backyard but there is a terrace area patio area or whatever you want to call that and i feel like it's very realistic that you have this smaller window and then the kitchen is underneath the window i don't really know how to explain it but to me it's just realistic so the pictures that i used right there are from tiny living by the way i've gotten a couple of questions about those for the past couple of videos as well um but that's they're from tiny living they're beautiful i love them and i overuse them like crazy but i can't help myself i want them in real life <laughs> Also, if you're curious about the windows that I'm using, I think they're from Discover University. I've never used them before. The front door is from Ruskina Stuff Pack and then the back door is from Base Game. And yeah, I don't know. The windows, I never really used them before, I don't think. I might have used them once or something, but I don't really remember. They're kind of, some of the swatches are a little bit off, so they don't fully match base game windows, which is a little bit of a shame. I would have liked them to match the base game windows because I feel like they would be easier to use because you could match them or you could use them with the base game windows basically. So you'd have a, a bigger set of windows there, but unfortunately that's not how it works. 
Also because the smaller windows that came with Discover University, the more contemporary looking windows, they are in the weirdest swatches. I think there's like a yellow swatch, a blue swatch, and a red swatch, but they don't have this that sort of gray metal swatch that matches the base game items. It's kind of, it's slightly off, which is enough for me to say this, I can't use this with the base game windows, which is a shame. I do realize that the door doesn't match the base game windows either because it's black, but actually I think that door also comes in a gray. I don't know if it matches perfectly, but it does come in a gray. Also the window that I'm using, uh, the base game window that I covered up with what are they called? It's wall decor from Get Famous, and that was heavily inspired by the picture. I really wanted to use the island living door because that one looked exactly like the door in the picture, but unfortunately, I think, or it almost looked exactly like the door. Unfortunately, the door in the picture does have windows, whereas the island living door is kind of open, and I feel like that would be a little bit weird, like, Having an open door like that in the city, it just gets kind of... The air is probably not the nicest, for example. I feel like it would also get really cold during the winter, so... I don't really know. I didn't want to... Yeah. Don't want my sims to get sick, or don't want your sims to get sick either, so... I chose a closed door, but the island living one would have fit perfectly if it wasn't for that, so... And then I ended up changing the bedroom just a little bit. I felt like those side tables from Moschino Stuff Pack were actually perfect because they're so close to the ground. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but they're just very low tables, very small tables. And that is something that I saw in a lot of the pictures that I was looking at for interior inspiration. So I felt like they were just perfect. I would have wanted a bed that was a little bit lower too. I feel like that would have been perfect, but I do realize that we can't actually get that. All the beds are the same height because of animations. Obviously the sims don't really interact with side tables, so they can be in different heights, but with beds, because of the animations, they all have to be the exact same height. The same counts for chairs or uh, what other stuff do we have? Couches? That's the same animation as the chairs, so they kind of have to be the same height too. I think it's a little bit different with lounge chairs, but I don't fully remember. But yeah, so no low beds for us. That would have been perfect though. I would want like a mattress just lying on the ground. Not for this house specifically, but for a new, like someone who just moved into an apartment and they can't fully afford a bed yet. They just have a mattress lying on the ground. There was a time where I wanted that for my bedroom. I'm glad I didn't end up doing that because I don't really know. I do like the look of it though, but I also like having a bed. It's hard to explain. Yeah, I don't think I can explain it, but I was really like, my dream was to have a Brooklyn apartment with a mattress just lying on the ground and an exposed brick wall behind it. That was my dream bedroom and for the rest of the apartment, I'm not really sure. Wow, times have changed, my style has changed, but I just I just remember, so that's kind of funny. I would still want that kind of bed in The Sims, though I feel like that would be re very realistic for like runaway teen interiors, for example, or I don't know, people that just can't afford beds or don't want proper beds because they like the style choice of just having a mattress. I would want that. I'm pretty sure it would look weird in The Sims, but I would want that. First of all, though, I want a possibly like a hobby pack, a hobby game pack that comes with more instruments. I want a drum kit and I also want a bass and then I also want an upright standing piano because we have one that's lying down. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, when you open the piano, if uh, the ones in the game, the big ones, these strings are lying down, but with an upright standing piano, they're not lying down, they're not standing either, but they're uh, horizontal? No, that's the other thing. <laughs> vertical. They're vertical. So I want an upright standing piano. I hope that's what they're called in English, but one where the strings are vertical instead of horizontal because those are so, like, they're so bad, like, they're just better for interior. The other ones are crazy expensive in real life and you can't fit them into apartments, for example. So something like that, I would just love that. And then, of course, the bass and the drum kit and... 
what else, like what other instruments they can give us, I'll take it. I don't care for other hobbies right now, except maybe drawing for elders or not elders, but like adults, young adults, teens. So it's not just kids drawing and not painting. I mean, drawing, that would be cool. But yeah, first of all, instruments. That's my priority. I want instruments and also farming, but that's a whole different story. Also, by the way, I tried to play test the, uh, not the piano, <laughs> the pool here, and it wasn't working because there's no way to step into the pool because there's only a foundation around it. So I had to add this little extra piece of foundation so they can step onto the foundation and then jump into the pool. They can't just directly jump into the pool. It doesn't work like that. So that's what just happened. And then I added a couple of plant pots and I think that is actually about it. So yeah, this is basically their backyard, back patio area. I don't know what to call it, but they have a dining area, a lounge area, a nice little pool, some flowers and plants and stuff. And it's a little bit lush, but I feel like it fits the house as well. But um, yeah, that's about it for today. So if you guys like this house, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. Sorry for rambling a little bit today. I was just in the mood for that. I hope it's okay. But um, still, if you got anything you want me to make a tutorial on, let me know in the comment section. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. That you were nice, but now I ain't telling you I'm going to smile. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me I won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky I won't let the door hit when I leave I guess that I was born beneath a very lucky star And in a week or two I won't remember who you are down he ran out of luck and now it's my time ain't no looking back i'm on the ride